see what Hideki can do. Dog leg right, par four. Can't go too far down here, though. Fairway runs out. And there is a, I was going to say, hazard penalty area down that side. Mm. And that is ever so close to it, too. My well, up ahead, my uh, it's what? We're, we're hearing the ball is actually in that gentleman's shirt. Ah, <laughs> uh, don't what? move. <laughs> what? Well, we, we don't want to get too personal. And this is your moment of fame. <laughs> <laughs> Where, how did he get down? Did he go down the back of his neck? He's not moving. Actually, what I'd, if he get him, get him to run up a couple of hundred yards, <laughs> then stop. <laughs> Start running, seriously. Then the ball's in motion, right? On the 10th hole during round two of the Northern and, uh, Trust tournament to at Liberty National, <laughs> Hideki Matsuyama hit his tee shot right. After landing on the car path, the ball shot forward and came to rest, tucked up a spectator's shirt. This is where rule 11.1 comes into play, which states that a ball accidentally deflected or stopped by a person is to be played as it lies, unless as per rule 11.1b, it comes to rest on a person, animal or moving outside influence. Therefore, Hideki had to take free relief by working out the reference point, which was the spot directly below where the ball came to rest on the man. The reference point would not change even if the person had walked away from the spot where the ball had come to rest on them, including if the player requested the person to move closer to the hole. From here, Hideki could drop another ball within one club length no nearer the hole. His drop and redrop hit the cart path and didn't stay at rest within the relief area. So Hideki got to place it at the spot where it first struck the ground within the relief area on the redrop. The ball didn't come to rest here when Hideki tried to place it. So Hideki got to place the ball where it would stay at rest, no nearer the hole as per rule 14.2e. After this, Hideki took free relief under Rule 16.1, interference with an abnormal course condition, that is the cart path, and thankfully this only took one drop to get his ball into play, and then he played his shot. And then, there he is, he puts his head down. No, but then he realizes, it's like, uh-oh, I can't move, I can't move, I've got it, I've got it. I've got it. What in the world? What's the odds I mean, how? Yeah, but that's in the world. Somebody had to say run. Just keep moving. <laughs> God. What? Oh, Hideki wants to play it off the, the car path. Doesn't want to drop. And there, I've seen some crazy things over the years. You know, it's it's stuck in you know, it, well, people in a deck chair, up, in, in, up a, in a tree. I know yeah, you were up in a tree. Was it a full well, foot? I've, I've been in a, in a basket of sandwiches yeah the Wentworth that one time that was uh that guy looks like your friend bill isn't it? yeah a good buddy so he gets uh to replace the ball drop it now that stands on the path now he takes relief from the path now he's good to go Shotland gives us 180 yards left. Now, it doesn't have to hit it the whole distance there because there's a long, thin green there. Coming a little lower. It's about 140 yards to the front. Follow through shows he's trying to cut it. And that actually won't be as straightforward because it's going to land that pretty close to the downslope. 